Mr. Vadi Krab. Welcome to a new episode of Cooking for Fun. My name is Nick. And that's my colleague, Rod. How are you today? Great. Today we are in front of the wine department and you guessed it, Ross is an expert in wine. Are you not? Occasionally. Occasionally. I think today the director really got it wrong. He chose my colleague and me for healthy dishes. What do you think, Ross? Did he make a mistake? <laughs> well, we know how to eat healthy. It's just the choice we don't make. I think we know how to cook healthy. That's true. Not necessarily what we always <laughs> eat. And we did a lot of healthy salads in our previous episode. And just have a look what we did so far. Okay, these were some of the salads. Well, there's a lot of other healthy meals to be prepared, and uh, as a lot of Nick's celebrity guests, they enjoy salads. There's so many other things as well, including fish. Fish is a great source of lean protein and uh, low in fat, and it's, it's just fantastic fl flavor. In fact, we prepared a dish in one of our earlier episodes, uh, the poached salmon. Exactly, I, I remember it was poached salmon and a mustard sauce, right? And a mustard sauce, yes. So, this is also very healthy. If you want to be even healthier, leave the cream out. Have a look of what we did. Really? So here's the salmon we bought earlier and our Riesling. This is our dry Riesling from Australia. What you need to do is find a wine that doesn't have any oak, you don't want that vanilla flavor. You don't want those heavy flavors. You want fresh fruit. You don't want a sweet wine. So German Riesling's not gonna work here. You want a wine that's like an unoaked Chardonnay, uh, a Sancerre, a Chablis, something that's fresh, clean. Uh, I love this unoaked, this, this uh, Riesling from Australia. There's so much fruit and it's perfect for the salmon. But you don't wanna put any olive oil or any Nothing. butter inside? We're poaching this. I'm not gonna say it's a no fat dish because we're gonna add some cream later, but this dish is quite simple. You're poaching it in white wine. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. You have to. It's white wine. And what I've done is I've cut the green or the white off the onion. So this is just green onion, but just the white part. And this is just for a little flavor. You want to take it off the heat now? Nope, I want to get it hot. Not boiling, but hot. So a little bit of salt, not too much. This dish has mustard in it, and mustard's quite salty. May so, I? Please. So, you want to tell me when to stop? Stop. So basically, we're going to bring this up. Get rid of the alcohol first. Before we put the salmon in, the alcohol has to go away. The alcohol will go away at about 70 degrees, 73 degrees. Uh, before it boils. So about now the alcohol is just about coming out. You see the vapor there. And, and you're we're taking, taking it out? out in five minutes. But if you stand over the pot when the alcohol comes up, you can get a really nice... You who? Yes. <laughs> so here are fillets of salmon. What I didn't do was take the skin off. Now when you're poaching, the, the, the salmon can get quite delicate. So I, I like to leave the skin on, even though if you're going to eat the skin, which I do, usually you make it crispy style. With the poaching, I think at home, a lot of people struggle with fish to make it look good when it's done. So I'm gonna leave the skin on to help you hold it together. For me, I, I wouldn't, but you can do this to help it stay like this. So just lay the fish skin side down. So that's what it's doing. And let that cook. It should still be creamy. Take a look. That looks very, very good already. Yeah. So just for this purpose, 
We're going to take this out. We still have a, a, a little bit more second. to go, but it's still going to cook because I'm going to cover it, keep it warm. Some cream. You said you would cover it? Yeah. Well, let's Thank do that. You. Pleasure. Keep this warm. And you see how it steams. It's, it's automatically still having a lot of heat inside. Right. So, we're going to add some cream. Right, so this, the cream and the wine are reduced down, and we're just going to add a little bit of mustard to the sauce. The mustard does two things. One, it holds the wine and the cream together. It's what they call an emulsifier. It helps keep everything from breaking apart. And it adds a lot of salt and flavor. And I have to work. And you right? have to work. So, salmon, nicely done. On the plate. The sauce is nice and thick. Not quite yet, but nearly. Well, it's close. It's, it's quite good. And we're just going to put some over. But you need a decoration, no? We do. So are you using the same green onion? Now, I don't like to waste anything, so now we're using the tops of the green onion. Very thinly sliced. For both flavor, texture, and color. Because it's important, we eat with the eyes as well. Well, so today's menu is the poached salmon in white wine with uh, mustard and cream sauce. Okay, that was a lovely salmon, mm. but we did a lot of other fish. Yes. And I love on my job that I can cook, but I can cook with supermodels. I did a fantastic dish, actually Dover sole fillets with rosemary and crispy spinach with Sarah Malakulain. Uh, yes, I actually saw that episode and quite frankly, I didn't think you were paying attention to the food very much. I actually didn't. I think. The viewer shouldn't really know, I cut myself during this episode because I was a little bit distracted. But it is, was a very, very great way of cooking healthy because yes. we were steaming the fish. And have a look what we did.